Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another room testing beer review and another room pills from Saxony. This is from the Feldschlossen Brauerei and it's Feldschlossen Pils now, um, which comes from Dresden. So uh, you know that it's uh, Saxony and it's very east of Germany. Uh, this is a quite large brewery and a quite uh, well known pills in Germany and it's got a quite classical look also, the label and so on. So. It's gonna be an um, exciting moment for me to try this one. It's the first time I'm trying it. The Feldschlossen Pilsner from uh, Dresden, and it looks like this. Got a quite classical uh, logo there with the lady that's holding two big glasses of beer. Um, I also like the color combination, of course. Uh, fits really nice together with the white, uh, golden green and uh, red. Here is the top label Dresdner Pilsner and uh, here is the cap Feldschlossen Dresdner Pilsner and there is the back label also. Uh, all in together it looks really, really uh, nice and gives a nice impression. Quite like a typical German premium pils which of course is really really good. It's always right time for a uh, German pils in my opinion. I uh, can show this label closer to you. Uh, and yeah, it looks real nice. Site 1858. Pich Menel. Gebraut nach dem deutschen Reinheitsgebot. Original Braukunst. Dresdner Pilsner Feldschlüssen. Dresdner Menelbier. And here is the, some kind of metal. It seems like it's not possible, but it's the skyline of, skyline of Dresden, it seems like here. You see it right here, maybe. And uh, here is the lady holding the beers. Uh, 4.9 ABV, very typical for the style. Laut einer Legende hat das Pich Menel seinen Namen von den Arbeiten, die vor langer Zeit die Hölzernen Bierfässer innen mit Pech versiegelten, das nannte man Pichen. Als Belohnung für die schwere Arbeit wurde richtig gepichelt. Feldschlüssen, die I, ist der Link to the Website, I'll link to it in the description box below, as always, yes, I used to do. Pilsner, Zutaten, Wasser, Gerstenmalz, Hopfen. Feldschlüssen, AG, Dresden. Of course, Dresden, a uh, very large city in Germany. Um, so some history for, over this brewery, for some information, a little bit of history uh, that I found from a, a website about Dresden. At the foot of Hanneberg in the southern suburb, there was a single farm that belonged to Anna Nelin. In 1644, Elector Johann the I allowed beer and wine to be served to strangers. In 1684, the Honorable Secret War Council Dietrich von Bosse bought the farm and received it from Elector Johann Georg III, a letter of privilege, and built the castle at the field. This property was bought in 1714 for 6,000 talos by the later wife of master builder Matthäus Daniel Pöppelmann, who died in 1729. Around 1730, the Feldschlüssen well, was a well-known excursion and amusement site with a dance hall, bowling alley and summer garden. The Feldschlüssen was destroyed in the Battle of Dresden in 1813 and a new Feldschlüssen was built in 1819. Leonard Meisel, leaseholder of the Bavarian brewery in Friedrichstadt, took over the excursion restaurant and in uh, 1838 set up a larger beer brewery in the Dresden Südvorstadt, which is Old Feldschlössen on uh, Budapester Straße, today's Feldschlössen Stammhaus. After 20 years, the stock brewery for Feldschlössen was founded. In 1960, the brewery became a state-owned company, which is VAB. Uh, the EB, um, whereby individual breweries in Dresden merged into VEB Dresden Breweries. 
The construction of the brewery in Dresden, Kosschütz on um, Kunnelsdorfer Straße began in 1973 and beer has been brewed there since 1981. On, since April 1st, 1983, this brewery has been part of the state-owned beverage combine which has been home to the VEB Dresden breweries and other breweries from the Dresden district since 1979. In 1990, the VE Beverage Combine was reorganized into Saxon Brewing Union. The Holsten Brewery took over the Saxon Brewing Union in 1992 and renamed it in 1995 to Feldschlossen Aktiengesellschaft Dresden. With the takeover of Holsten by Carlsberg Brewery, the Feldschlossen AG belonged to the Carlsberg Group since 2004. In January 2011, Dresdner Feldschlossen AG was sold by Carlsberg to TCB, the Teilegungsgesellschaft based in Frankfurt, Odo. Uh, the uh, holding includes the Frankfurter Brauhaus and the SAS Brasserie Champignolles, which is in France. Uh, on the one hand, Carlsberg justified the sale by wanting to concentrate more on its own core brands, which is Carlsberg, Holsten, Lübser, Duckstein, Astra, for example. On the other hand, they wanted to better utilize the Dresden brewery with the sale and continue to co cooperate with it. From 2011 to 2016, the new owners were able to double their output. And some more history about this brewery uh, on um, another page that I found is um, the later Feldschlossen Brewery goes back to a farm outside the town near Hanneberg, which was owned by Anna Nelin in 1644. This year, Elector Johann Georg I granted the property Fairness, which uh, initiated the development of an inn. In 1684, the Secret War councillor Christoph Dietrich von Bosse acquired the estate and had it expanded significantly with the approval of the Saxon court. A castle-like building soon emerged in the middle of wide fields, which, as uh, Feldschlossen, was one of the largest excursion and entertainment venues in the Dresden area. In addition to the extensive guest garden, attractions, attractions also included a large dance hall, several restoration rooms and a bowling alley. In 1813, the strategic located Schankgut was highly competitive because Napoleon had chosen the nearby Hanberg as an observing, observation point and dug it with uh, moats. After the Austrians conquered the Feldschlossen, soldiers looted the storage cellar and started bomb bombarding the city from there. Uh, during the subsequent Reconquest by Napoleonic troops, the building was badly damaged and burned down. It was not until 1819 that the successor building was inaugurated, which, however, was not economically profitable and was therefore subject to the compulsory auction ten years later. For a total of 24,200 talos, the Dresden master butcher Bär and the tax collector Schellicher Vorwerk and Gasthaus uh, acquired, but it was only Bavaria's Albert Leonard Meisel, leaseholder of the Bavarian brewery in Friedrichstadt, who managed to make the Feldschlossen a well-known excursion venue again. Despite objections from a long-established brewer's guild, Meisel was able to obtain the brewing right for the property he had acquired in 1838 and um, 1846 and set up a brewery Bavarian style here. On July 7, 1858, his sons converted the company into a public limited company soon and soon sold the business to new owners. By the end of the 19th century, the Feldschlossen brewery had developed into the largest beer produ producers in Saxony. After the turn of the company, the Radberg Export Brewery formed a community of interests which allowed the sales markets to be expanded again. The two companies merged in 1920. In addition to the brewery, there was also the Zum Feldschlossen restaurant, 
which was rebuilt in 1875 and expanded with a large pier and concert garden. Unfortunately, this later fell victim to the construction of the Sulima Cigarette Factory, which, while the restaurant itself existed until it was destroyed in 1945. The brewery itself was also badly affected, but was able to resume production at the end of 1945. In 1960, the Felschlesen Brewery merged with other companies in the industry to form the VEB, Dresdner Breweries. Until 1990, the company, which was a part of the VEB beverage, combined in Dresden and Budapeststrasse 32, formerly Chemnitzerstrasse 6, also produced barrel sprinklers and other non-alcoholic beverages in addition to Felschlesen Pilsner. A little later, production was moved to Kurzschutz and most of the buildings were demolished. In its place are now office buildings, a hotel and the Dresden employment office. The former machine house has been preserved, which, was, which has been renovated in uh, line with monuments and converted into a restaurant. Since 1998, Stamhaus Feldschlesen has been inviting you, inviting you to a beer and rustic atmosphere. A small museum on the uh, top floor provides information about the history of the Dresden's brewing history. Uh, that's some history about this um, this brewery, Feldschlössen Brauerei, and uh, about this specific beer, the Feldschlössen Pilsner, which of course is their main product, since uh, that's normally what it is and regarding breweries from this area in Germany. Pilsner is the uh, most popular beer style, East Germany and North Germany, that's what it seems like. Uh, it's possible to read the following. Uh, Spicy pilsner taste with a slightly hoppy note and a pleasant freshness. Also it gets, as I mentioned, 4.9 ABV, which is very classical for the style. And I'm quite uh, excited about trying this one because it's quite a famous one, it seems like. Uh, Feldschlöss and Pils, uh, from, from uh, Dresden in Saxony. <coughs> so uh, let's open this one up. The Feldschlöss and Pils, now well, let's look at the label. Can I give you, of course, looking nice, doesn't it? Feldschlössen Pilsner. Let's open this one up. And pour it up. There we have it. Look good, doesn't it? Perfect pouring with the um, nice two finger white compact foam head rises up uh, above the edge of the glass, which is uh, just the style I wanted. Looks really, really nice uh, when I managed to do pouring like that. In my opinion, that's the, the way it should be. Um, and I'll show it closer to you. Very pale golden yellow color of it, easy to see through, nice with the bubbles rises up, as you hopefully can see, which looks really nice. Very typical for the style also. I have high expectations of this one. I hope it's gonna be fresh in the hops and the herbs, bitterness taste just the way we want it from a German high quality premium pills like this one is the Feldschlössen Dresdner Pils now. I bet it's gonna be really great, so let's get the aroma. Yeah, really nice. I think I uh, maybe forgot to mention how large this brewery is um, because um, it's really a, it's a large brewery and um, yeah there we have it uh, so founded 1876 and um, 
I thought it had like a million hectoliters every year. Um, let's see if that was correct. Yeah, around that. Um, so a large brewery and uh, that's why I'm having high expectations of it. So I bet it's gonna taste really fresh and nice, just the way I want a German pills. So let's taste it. Prost. You're really nice. Really, really smooth, easy to drink. And that's this typical freshness in the hops. Um, uh, bitterness taste that you want from a from a German pills, real high quality, you know, fresh um, hops. That's easy to feel while you drink it. So uh, it's really, really a good one, and uh, really something that you're uh, longing for. And uh, as I mentioned, it was a reward for the workers. Uh, that also what the logo is showing. And I really understand why it was, because it's really, really nice in taste. It's a typical uh, freshness of the, of the hops taste, as I mentioned. And uh, really well balanced and nice pills in every way. So, uh, it's a big recommendation. Uh, also, quality that the white foam had remains still. That's something that I always in, is mentioning in my videos, maintain the white foam head all the way down because it keeps the taste in the glass that it's it's being the right. Um, so that's important. The taste is really, really great in this one and it's a big recommendation for me. It felt schluss and pilsner. Yeah, it's so nice, very easy to drink, and um, yeah, it's a typical, really great um, premium German Pilsner, uh, that's what I can say. So, this one is definitely something you should try in my opinion, uh, because it's really great. Feldschlossen Pilsner from uh, Dresden, the big city in Saxony, in uh, East Germany of course. Uh, it's a great beer, a great pills. Um, yeah, that's what I can say. So, keep your eyes open for uh, Feldschluss and Pils now. And um, also, feel free to check out the link to the brewery's website, which I will link to in the description box below. Uh, you can read more about the history of, of the brewery and their other beers, but their pills is, of course, their main product since they are from, from Saxony where um, that's a popular beer style. Um, if I understand it right, there is a brewery in Switzerland which is having the same name, but this is the German one of course, since uh, in Germany is the, is the country from which I'm drinking beers, basically. <clears throat> and as I mentioned, this is a great pills, real great pills. I think I've been drinking some other Pilsners from um, from Saxony Freiberg and uh, Landskron, which also has been uh, has been really good, just like this one. Um, so um, this is a big recommendation. Feldschloss and Pils now. Definitely something you should try, in my opinion. And uh, that is really fresh Pils taste which is the typical taste that you want, as I mentioned. Um, yeah, I think that's it for now. Hope you like my channel, that you consider it interesting when the new reviews are appearing, that you look forward to new beer reviews, uh, because that's what I want from the subscribers, that you look forward to the new beer reviews that are coming up. And there's always 
uh, a lot of interesting birds that will be coming up in the future. So, uh, hope you look forward to that. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, share if you want. And hope I see you again in next German beer review.